Yo, hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you cool technique how to make chromatic metallic text inside of After Effects. I will use only procedural techniques. You can change anything you want anytime you want and achieve different results but in the same style. And everything will be done inside of After Effects without any third-party plugins. If you're ready, let's jump inside of After Effects and let's get started. Alright, so we are in After Effects and let's get started. Let's start with the creating new text. Let's type something interesting, for example, Chrome. Let's center it. I used light tool. You can find it here in the window, the light. And for the font, I use Ponstem. It's a free font from Google Fonts. You can download it for free. And color, I will use uh, some middle gray somewhere here. And we are ready to start. So, after we created this text, let's add some shape into this. Let's make a right click on this text layer, then go to layer styles, and we need to add bevel and embers. Let's expand those options and see what we got here. In the style, I will leave inner bevel, and technique, I will change to, to heart like so and depth let's increase to 200 you can add it even more if you want to have more depth but i think 200 is enough for for this case then direction we can use up or down so the difference that this is the way the light will uh, light this text in our case light will be on top it's more natural, like what we have in the real world. And in the size, let's make it 10. And those settings are really depends on the font you use and the weight of each font. So therefore, I use some middle size text and 10 is fine for us. We can play with the angle, but I will leave it as default. It's fine for now. And let's increase highlight opacity to something like 80 and do the same for the shadow. It gives us a little bit more contrast on the edges of our text. Alright, so we are good to go. And one friendly reminder for you, if you find this video useful, please consider to subscribe on my channel and to hit the like button. I will produce more and more videos and tutorials like this. But we are back to After Effects and let's continue. So we did some pretty basic setup and one more thing I want to add to this text is a kind of rim light effect. To do this I will do right click on the text again, go to layer styles and I will add inner glow. As you can see we immediately have this interesting rim effect. Let's change color to something more dramatic, for example this blue. And we can increase opacity to 100 to make it more obvious. And let's make these blue lines even more obvious. For example, 10. Like so. And it gives us slight effect of rim light. Like we have a light behind this text. We can change those settings as well. Don't worry about this. Okay, let's create new solid. I will call it as noise. Okay. And we need to add fractal noise effect let's make it more contrast and let's reduce brightness okay in transform let's make it smaller for example 20 and in complexity we can make it 4 or even 3 to make it a little bit more blurry the next effect i want to add is cc vector blur let's drag it into effect control panel let's immediately increase amount to something like 80 and you see immediately that we have some like metallic liquid effect and let's increase rich smoothness for three we don't see a big difference right now because we didn't apply a vector map and let's fix this in the vector map we need to set up our text like so and the source let's change to, to effects and masks Okay, uh, it's gonna be lightness and map, map softness. I will leave it as 15 and in the type uh, we need to switch from natural to direction fading. 
and we immediately have nice liquid effect like um, some melting metal and for this effect we can apply transparency what it does it applies uh, this uh, solid on top of the of the text based on their alpha like so and we can switch mode to something more dramatic for example hard light and let's make it a little bit even more contrast and a little bit brighter so i will increase brightness and i will increase contrast let's add levels here and let's make it even more contrast we can disable uniform scaling and here we can change height to 50 and the width to 25 and now it looks much more interesting like a real liquid effect as you can see we have alpha channel for now which is really good what i want to do next is to add displacement map and into displacement map layer we can select our text and the source effects and masks for the channel let's select luminance and here luminance okay we can increase the amount and here we can see some distortions with the, our text on the edges this is exactly what we want to have so i will reduce a little bit contrast here something like this and one more thing i want to fix here is we have these bright spots this like a specular dots which are not looking so good and we will add box blur and let's place it after fractal noise and let's increase radius to something like three three even more let's play more with the displacement map to avoid those backlers okay i will set it as minus five minus ten and we have pretty good result and what else we can do to improve this text so let's create new adjustment layer and here let's add glow effect like so uh, let's increase threshold let's decrease threshold to 40 okay radius let's make it something like 40 and the intensity let's decrease to 0.4 and as you can see we have this nice glow effect and all our effects are blended together let's uh, select ellipse tool and let's draw some small circles like this it's gonna be our specular spots so i will duplicate it and place it somewhere here duplicate it here somewhere here okay uh, let's make it let's enable levels to make it more contrast to achieve more metallic look in the shape layer we need to add fast box blur and let's make it like four for example and let's place it below our adjustment layer and here we achieved this nice uh, specular effect as you can see also we can play with the size of each sphere for example make this one bigger let's place it here let's make this one bigger as well let's place it here this one we can place somewhere here yeah it gives us more interesting look the next thing we can add light sweep and what it does it gives us this uh, nice array glow to the text even more and we can place glow after this and let's place it somewhere here so now we have this nice metallic chrome effect and what's cool with this effect let's disable this uh, bright spots and we can change this text 
to whatever we want. This is 100% procedural and therefore you can use this and save this as a preset and use this in your project. That's it guys. So actually we did a great job. We achieved pretty solid result and I really like what we have. And what's cool about this is that it's uh, procedural and we can change text, font, etc. and uh, achieve maybe a different result but in the same technique. Thank you guys for watching and if you find this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Also uh, let me know what do you think about this technique, about this video in the comment section area. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Peace!